I'm making over two miniature fountains. One with basic supplies and one with special hobby materials. I'll show you a free substitute if you don't have resin, as well as how to make a stream of water for your miniature faucet. I'll use the basic materials on this cheaper fountain from Timu. This pricier fountain will get the fancy materials. Both of the fountains are made of resin. To get started, I'm painting both of them with the same color scheme. I want each of the fountains to look like carved stone. I'm starting by using a darker color in all of the recesses. By using a stippling motion, I'm getting the paint into all of the deepest details and creating a texture on the surface that makes the fountain look more like stone. To give each of the fountains some weight, I'm adding some black to key areas. Most of this will be covered up, but whatever remains will be a nice dark shadow. Now I'm painting the fountains their final color, which is a nice stony beige color. I'm not looking for a complete coverage, so I'm using a piece of torn sea sponge from the Dollar Tree to apply the paint. You can use paper towel instead if you don't have a sea sponge. To create even more depth and emphasize the details, I'm dry brushing with a small amount of white on the highest points. I'm only dry brushing areas the sun would hit. I'm using a couple shades of green paint to add the look of moss. When you're choosing the placement of your moss, think of areas where moisture would accumulate and wouldn't evaporate quickly, like on the underside of the face and ledges. I'm tapping the painted moss with my finger to obscure any brush lines. Be careful not to overdo it or it'll end up looking like weird camouflage. The cheap fountain has less defined details on the face. I'm going back in with some black paint to add a bit more definition. I sponged on the main color and finished with a little bit of dry brushing. For the final painting step, I'm adding some warmth using watered down brown paint. Miniatures often lack the size and weight to create their own shadows. For added realism, I'm using a bit of the brown to create a soft shadow under the ledge. So I'm not actually done painting. Each of the fountains will be filled with water, so to make it look more realistic, I'm painting in that area. I looked at some photos of real fountains, and the inside of the basin is always much darker because the stone is wet. I find it really hard to paint perfect lines, so I always go back in with the base color to clean up my edges. You could paint this a darker gray instead if you don't like the blue. To create the water in the fancy fountain, I'm using UV resin. I really like using UV resin because it feels pretty foolproof. You can either cure it quickly with UV light or put it in the sun. UV resin is toxic before it's cured, so I'm using gloves and also curing the resin on any tools I use as well as the miniature. To create the look of water on the inexpensive fountain, I'm using some plastic from packaging. 
I cut the shape I needed a tiny bit too big and trimmed it before gluing it in place. I'll be adding a moving stream of water so this glass-like plastic surface looks unrealistic. I'm creating the look of moving water using some stippled Mod Podge. If you have a small straw, you can use it to blow the Mod Podge around and create ripples. For the fancy fountain, I'm using water effects to create the rippled surface. Water effects is a specialty product intended for model makers. It goes on white, which makes it easy to see where it's being applied, but then it dries completely clear. The secret to really make it look like moving water is to dry brush some white right on the tips. The easiest way to make the stream of water coming out of each fountain is to use hot glue. I'm laying down a few options onto a tile, leaving a tiny gap between each of the streams. If you don't have a tile, you can add the glue to glass or wax paper instead. I'm trimming the end and using some hot glue to apply the water stream to the cheap fountain. I used a bit of white glue to tack the little water stream in place. The fancy fountain is getting the same hot glue water trick. You could use the same technique to add running water to your kitchen faucet, bathtub, or anything else in miniature. To help create the look of moving water, I'm making some frothy foam. I'm tearing a tiny amount of toilet paper into little shreds and adding it to water. I'm adding some white glue so it'll hold its shape and dry hard. I mixed and smeared it around until the toilet paper broke down more and it became a pretty loose paste. This mixture probably could have held its own, but I was feeling a little insecure and added some white glue. I added some of the TP mixture behind the water stream and a little bit in the front for both fountains. I'm using some oregano from my kitchen to add the look of moss to the inexpensive fountain. Use the greenest herb you have and crush it up into smaller pieces. You can apply glue to the miniature and sprinkle on your moss, but I like to mix the two together. I'm adding the oregano sparingly in areas where moisture would collect. The fancy fountain is getting flocking, which is a much better material for adding moss. I used three hobby materials on the fancy fountain, UV resin, water effects, and flocking. Among the three materials, flocking is the one I would definitely buy because it makes such a big difference on your miniatures. <laughs> 